Unless you have been living under a rock, investing in cryptocurrency has been on the hype train for some time now, with many risky investors hoping to make big gains in the crypto market, hoping that these gains will change their life and take them to the moon. In this video, I break down all there is to know about taxes on crypto here in the UK and how to legally be the most tax efficient. I'm Kozan from Financial Madness, helping you be better with your money. In December 2019, HMRC published guidance on how crypto assets ought to be taxed in this country. Now, before we go any further, I do need to make a clarification on what this word crypto assets actually mean, as it will be referenced a lot in this video. So HMRC actually break down the different types of crypto assets for us. So the first one on the list is something called exchange tokens. Now, this one is probably the easiest on the list and the most familiar one. These do include cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum and Dogecoin. Now, for some Something to be classed as an exchange token means it has to be a token that is intended to be used as payment. Now the second type are utility tokens. Now this provides the holder of this token future access to a company's goods or services. A real life example on this could be something like a gift card towards a specific shop or a ticket on any type of public transportation. Now the third type is something called security tokens. Now this also includes non-fungible tokens or NFTs. Now this has been a new buzzword that's been circling around the crypto world for some time and I plan to do a video on this a little bit later on as well. But essentially a security token is a token that derives its value from an external tradable asset, for example stocks or real estate. And the fourth and final type is known as stable coins. Now these are crypto assets that are pegged to the value of fiat money or other assets, for example, gold. So now that the definitions are out of the way, you should understand that if you hold any of these crypto assets, you may be eligible for tax. So let's move on to understanding the guidance that HMRC have provided on taxing crypto assets. So the two main ways that people can earn crypto assets is either through mining or through trading. And the way that you are taxed does depend on which category you earn your crypto assets from. But bear in mind that you can actually be fitted into both of these categories. Let's start with those that trade in crypto, which happens to be the majority of us. I, for one, also fit into this category. So for the most part, anyone in the UK who holds crypto assets as a personal investment will be taxed on the gains that they make from this crypto asset and this tax is known as capital gains tax. The way that capital gains tax works is that you are taxed on the profit or the gain between the point of when you bought the asset to the point of when you sold the asset. You may also hear terms of dispose of or crystallize, but they all refer to the same point at which you sell the asset. The rate of tax that you are charged does depend on your income. If you are someone that is within the basic rate threshold, you'll be charged a tax rate of 10%. If you are above the basic rate, this tax is now 20%. But what you should also realize is that everyone has an annual capital gains tax allowance. So you'll only pay capital gains tax for any gains that are made above this allowance. Please bear with me, I know this sounds a bit confusing. I will demonstrate this with an example a little bit later on. As of this current tax year, the allowance now stands at 12,300 pounds, but this does typically rise year on year to account for inflation. So if you are watching this video at a later date, I would suggest you check out the government website for more up-to-date information. So any capital gain that is above this 12,300 threshold will you only need to pay tax on. Now, I will demonstrate this with an example. So imagine I have bought 1,000 pounds worth of Bitcoin in one year. And by the end of next year, this has now turned into 20,000 pounds worth of Bitcoin. Now, the capital gained would be the difference between the price you purchased the asset against the price at which you sold it or crystallized it or disposed of it. Now, this would be 20,000 pounds take away from 1,000 pounds. So the capital gained in this example would be 19,000 pounds. But assuming you haven't used any of your capital gains tax allowance for that year, that means you don't have to pay anything on the first 12,300 pounds. So that will leave 6,700 pounds that is subject to capital gains tax. And depending on your income bracket, this will be charged at 10% or 20%. You declare your capital gains by letting HMRC know whenever you fill out your self-assessment tax returns at the end of the financial year. And if you're thinking, meh, I just won't fill out these forms, how on earth are they gonna know? 
Not only is this a form of tax evasion, which is extremely illegal here in the UK, HMRC are clamping down hard to get exchanges to reveal information about their customers to help find those that are evading tax. For example, HMRC have reached an agreement with Coinbase, which is one of the largest crypto exchanges in the world, to reveal information about their customers who have more than 5,000 euros worth of crypto assets within their portfolio. And I'm sure you can bet that HMRC are having similar conversations with other crypto exchanges as well. Please also note that this capital gains tax allowance isn't purely reserved for capital gained on crypto assets. It applies to any capital gained within your investment portfolio. So for example, say if I sold my stocks outside of my ISA account, of course, with a gain of 10,000 pounds, this would eat into my annual allowance of 12,300. Meaning if I wanted to utilize any of the allowance to sell some Bitcoin, I will only have 2,300 pounds left for that tax year to use before I then have to start paying capital gains tax. There is actually another, albeit a very rare case, where a trader can be taxed. And this is for cases when the HMRC deem your activities in trading in cryptocurrencies to be a business activity rather than a personal investment. Now the HMRC don't provide an actual definition of what constitutes as a business activity, but they do state only in exceptional circumstances would HMRC expect individuals to buy and sell exchange tokens with such frequency, level of organization and sophistication that the activity amounts to a financial trade in itself. If the taxpayer's activity is considered to be trading, then income tax will take priority over capital gains tax and will apply for profits or losses. So what this means is that in these cases, any gains from your crypto assets will be considered as part of your income and therefore will be subject to income tax rather than capital gains tax. And the amount of income tax that you will be charged will depend on which income bracket you'll fall under when you consider all of your income streams. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe with the notification bell on. I release a video every single week talking about all things personal finance with the ultimate aim of helping you be better with your money. Now that I've explained the tax system for those that trade crypto, moving on to those that are crypto miners where things are way more straightforward. The way it works is the value of your crypto in pound sterling at the point of which you've mined it will be considered as taxable income. So you will be subject to income and national insurance tax. And again, the rate of tax will depend on which bracket you fall under when you consider all of your income streams. So is there a tax efficient way to legally reduce your tax bill when it comes to mining or trading in crypto assets? So any methods that I do mention are from a legal perspective, there'll be no tax evasion here, but please note that I am not a tax expert. This is purely just for educational purposes. If you do want to find out more, I would suggest you seek out professional advice. So I wasn't sure how I was gonna do this section. I kind of wanted to do a debunking sort of thing where it's kind of like a Q and A session. So yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Hopefully you can follow. So the first one thing is, can you invest in crypto assets within an ISA? So I see this question a lot and for good reason, because like with other investments, you can choose to invest in these assets through an ISA wrapper. And as you may know, anything invested within an ISA will not be subject to any tax whatsoever. These capital gains taxes do not apply here. If you still don't know what I'm talking about, I would suggest you check out my earlier video on ISAs. I'll put a link in the description box down below so you can catch up. However, unfortunately at this point in time, crypto assets cannot be invested through an ISA. So from a tax efficiency perspective, this isn't really an option. Hmm. Can you use any investment losses to offset any capital gained towards your advantage? If an investment actually made a loss for you, this loss can actually offset any capital gained for that tax year or the next four tax years. So I'm gonna give you an example to better explain this. So say for example, I sold my Bitcoin, but I sustained a loss of 5,000 pounds. I then later invest in 1,000 pound worth of Ethereum. And by the end of year three, my Ethereum has grown from 1,000 pounds to 20,000 pounds. And I decide to sell it. 
at that point. So again, the capital gain that I made from Ethereum would be the price at which I sold it against the price that I bought it. So that is 20,000 minus the 1,000. So that is 19,000 pounds of capital gained. Assuming that I haven't used any capital gains tax allowance, so I'll minus another 12,300 pounds from that. So that means I have to pay capital gains tax on the remaining 6,700 pounds. But wait, I can actually offset some of this capital gained by bringing in the 5,000 pound loss that I made three tax years ago. So taking away 5,000 pounds from this, that means I only have to pay capital gains tax on the remaining 1,700 pounds. So this is one way that you can use to be sure that you are taxed the most efficient way when it comes to crypto assets. How can you best utilize your capital gains tax allowance to be taxed efficiently when it comes to crypto? Now this works best for those that plan to invest in the long run when it comes to crypto. And if you saw my earlier video where I walk you through how I bought my crypto, you would know that this is the strategy that I'm also using. Now what this means is that if I do happen to obtain a substantial gain in the long run, I can then choose to sell off parts of my investment to make sure that the gain that I do accrue is within my capital gains tax allowance threshold. And then I can do this for the subsequent years as well. Obviously there may be times where I want to realize gains that are above the threshold limit, but at least I do have that flexibility if I do want to be taxed efficiently when it comes to my crypto. Instead of selling my crypto assets, can I not just spend them or trade them in for another crypto? Now I know spending does legit sound like you should not be subject to tax, but unfortunately you still are. And that is because HMRC do not deem crypto assets to be a form of money or currency. So even if you do manage to spend it, you will be subject to tax as per the methods I've mentioned previously and the tax still applies even if you trade in your crypto for another type of currency. So for example, say if I bought some Ethereum using some of my Bitcoin, to have made that transaction happen, I would have needed to sell my Bitcoin or dispose of it or crystallize it to make that transaction happen. And therefore the tax will apply on the value of the Bitcoin at the point of sale. So unfortunately, neither of these two methods will help you from a tax perspective. Now, the last point that I want to make was, can you gift or transfer your crypto assets to your partner? And can you turn this into an advantage? So there is a possibility that you can transfer your crypto assets to your spouse or civil partner. And if you are able to do this, this is not subject to any taxation whatsoever. So the way that you can actually turn this into an advantage is that you can then utilize both of your capital gains tax allowance. Because remember, the allowance that you have is personal to you. So I have 12,300 of an allowance under my name and my partner will have 12,300 under his name. There are particular rules around this, so I would suggest you seek out professional advice if you want to explore this method, because I remember I am no tax expert, but this is one potential method that you can use to be taxed efficiently with crypto assets. Cool, so that is it for this week's episode. Let me know in the comment section down below if you do have any further questions. I love having a discussion with you all. And remember, if you did find this video incredibly useful, I would appreciate if you smash that like button. That just wonders for the growth of my YouTube channel. And remember, I release a video every single week. So if you wanna keep up to date with those, hit the subscribe button too. See you later, bye.